opportunity to chat live with him. NASA astronauts Chell Lengren and Scott Kelly join us live from the International Space Station this morning. Good morning, guys. And just so all our viewers know, they are in a little bit of a delay, so there'll be a lag when I ask questions and they answer. Uh, so we have Scott Kelly, who's the station commander. And uh, first of all, the Chell, happy belated Car Colorado Day. We saw the picture with you in the flag. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was uh, it was exciting to be up here and to, to be able to celebrate uh, Colorado's uh, statehood day. So I thought it would be fun to to take a picture and uh, and celebrate with a little call shout out on uh, Twitter. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. Yeah, we saw that picture. Uh, tell us a little bit about the roles that both of you play in your current expedition there on the ISS. Well, I'm, uh, of course, I just arrived a couple of weeks ago with uh, my crew, Kimia Yui and Oleg uh, Kononenko, and uh, we joined Scott and Misha and Gennady up here uh, to make up the full six crew of uh, Expedition 44. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm still kind of learning the ropes. Scott uh, has been uh, mentoring Kimia and I while we've uh, kind of gotten our um, feet wet or gotten our space legs, and it's uh, it's been great. We serve as uh, flight engineers who work, do maintenance, preventive maintenance, and of course the mission of the space, space station is uh, conducting science and research. And uh, we've been uh, very busy at that. All right, so uh, you've only been up there, like you said, for just a couple of weeks now, and we know there's a learning process there. Have there been any kind of spaces hard moments, you know, normal tasks that just take a little bit more effort for you? Well, let me just say one thing. These guys look like uh, like veterans. They, uh, you know, just really, uh, you know, took off with, uh, you know, look looking like they've been up here for a long time and uh, great skills and doing great work. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So well, um, we, we sure appreciate uh, Scott. We sure appreciate Scott really kind of showing us the ropes and uh, getting us, uh, giving us a good head start. You know, there are a couple of things that uh, that are more difficult up here for sure. Um, it's great to float around, but uh, the lack of gravity actually really makes it difficult to keep things organized. And so, I found that I've lost uh, lost some things. If you don't Velcro it down, um, things just kind of float away. And then anytime you open a bag, things just fly out so um, and that includes uh, bags of food so I find that when uh, I'm I'm you know open a bag of uh, chicken to eat pieces are flying everywhere and uh, it I'm learning how to not make a big mess <laughs> well we hope you can keep that under control uh, Commander Kelly we know this definitely is not your first rodeo in space you're spending a year up there and you've got a good chunk the better half of a year left now I've seen on social media you do a lot of blood draws and so does your brother uh, down on earth can you talk about those blood draws and what you guys are trying to figure out uh, with your year in space Well, there's a lot of science that goes on uh, up here, and uh, while I'm here during the course of the year, almost uh, 400 different experiments, and those are in all different kinds of category, whether it's, you know, how to learn uh, the things we need to, to learn to go further beyond uh, low Earth orbit to Mars someday, um, or how to improve life on Earth. And the, the science that's involved with me being here for a year is uh, is broken up into uh, a few different categories, but most of it is this one-year uh, science that is a medical experiment on Misha and I, uh, understanding the effects on our bone and muscles, immune system, the effects of radiation, but also this uh, comparative study with my brother, uh, which is kind of on a genetic uh, level with uh, the effects of, of this environment on our, on our DNA and RNA and proteins. And it, uh, it involves a lot of blood draws and a lot of other, uh, other types of uh, imaging and research and samples. All right, uh, guys, we're getting close to the end of our window here. Two questions for you. Uh, one, kids are headed back to school soon. And uh, as we very well know, the generation that will take us to Mars and beyond. Do you have any advice for them for the next school year? Uh, and also, it's, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, GMT time for you guys. Any dinner plans? What's in the bag tonight, guys?
Well, you know, um, I'll, I'll give the same uh, advice that my parents gave me, and that is uh, for those kids that are going back to school, you know, what a great opportunity. Um, and it's one that we really take for granted sometimes, that, that education. Right. And uh, to just really dig in and, and uh, study and read and learn about the things that, uh, that you're interested in. And as far as the uh, the dinner, uh, you you pose that question in a pretty interesting way because a lot of times I just say, you know, what I'm having for dinner is brown in a bag. <laughs> All right, real quick before you go, guys, can you do a flip for us? We we want we want to see it. We're jealous. Oh, unreal. I'd try one, but uh, things wouldn't go well. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy the rest of your time up in space. There you go. Uh, Commander Scott Kelly on the space station, live from space this morning uh, with Chell Lindgren, Colorado Zone. Thank you guys very much. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at your forecast. Back here. On